Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, hello everyone. Hello, everyone. <laughs> We've been telling Kay about this. Um, right, Kay, so excited. Haven't worked together for ages. I know, I know. I know. Not only that, we've got the weekend together as well. We're going on a dirty weekend. Mm. Yes, we are. But before we tell you about that, we're going to tell you about the one day special. Um, right, what have we got, lovely Kay? <gasps> this is fantastic. It's awesome. So, this is basically exclusive okay Ooh. now when we do these dirty weekends mm. i come up with a brand new project each year and we do it for the whole year and then at the end of the year we release it to everybody else right so this is when we release what we've been doing all uh -huh. year so we've got this fabulous uh, canvas bag mm -hmm. which is made out of the canvas that they wrap around artist canvases Ooh. so it really is a canvas mm -hmm. in a bag yeah we've got the um, design onto canvas here which is a botanicals canvas mm. and we've got all our fabric paints all of our paints are fabric paints anyway yes we've got a whole range of translucent ones to actually create the bag and we've got some see. gorgeous gorgeous samples here so this is from our sue Lush. ralph yeah oh look Isn't at that detail. beautiful absolutely gorgeous so we've got stamping on there we've mm. got painting we've got watercolors we've got layering we've got also and i'm just gonna flip it around when you come in and have a look close oh look at those details they're gorgeous have it's we, so much fun to do have we got stitching it on really there as well really is. sue's put some stitching on here yeah you don't have to do that mm -mm. but it does look fantastic you should i whip it around really quickly go for it there we go Oh, that looks lush there, wow, doesn't it? Wow, that's yeah. gorgeous. Oh, that is beautiful. So basically, you've got your your canvas, and then you decorate it exactly how you like. like. Ever you want, but I'm going to give you some samples. Oh, nice. And, um, and I'm going to show you step by step how Good. to do it. Okay. And then we've got this here, Aww. which is absolutely gorgeous. And this is from Carolyn Lakin. Yep on our DT and she actually I said could I borrow your bag because it's gorgeous because she came on our dirty weekend as well right and she said oh well, I'm really sorry it's a bit creased and crumpled because it's had quite a life it actually went to India with us yeah <laughs> yeah that's so, so cool. it's been around the block a few times and I'm going to whip it round because she's actually <gasps> done some embroidery on it as well and a bit of sparkle yeah embellishments. And a little bit of embellishments and we've got some fabric sparkles on the show as well so you can take it as far as you want to or Absolutely. as simple as you'd like to leave it. That's cool. And uh, Now, before you check out your one day special, just a little nod. Hold on, because we have got a complete collection you might like to go for. Can we have one more look at that one over yes, there? Yes, so this is uh, one of my samples mm -hmm. here. So I'm going to start with the back. Here we go. So this is the back. Stunning. So this is, I'm going to show you how to do all the background colouring. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you how to do all the stamping and uh, all the colouring in and also how to put your fabric sparkles on. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've actually then taken it further and started embroidering all over it, you know, these lovely sort of, it's very simple embroidery stitches, but you don't have to do that if you don't want. And then I'm gonna flick it round really quick. Whee! There we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then my panel, I actually have embroidered quite a lot because I wanted something to do while we were travelling around yeah, the country yeah. in the van. <laughs> so <laughs> poor Alfie's driving and here's me just happily stitching in the, in the passenger seat. So I've done loads of uh, embroidery on there, but you don't have to. You can actually just sew it on the front mm -hmm. or if you actually don't want to do that, you want to make it into a cushion Absolutely. or an iPad case or just frame it because it looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. You can do that also. But it's so much fun. You're going to love it. And Ooh. anybody can do it. Yep. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. So your one day special then, you've got your canvas bag, big bag. You're going to get a lot in that. And then you've got your gorgeous um, panel. You're getting the paints down there. There's 10 pots in total, so you've got enough. Five different colours. Brilliant. And then you've got also three paint mats for £29.98. Got a really nice saving of £7 on this. Yeah. 736350. Now we've also got some collector's edition stamps and I love these, especially <laughs> the cat, of course, I said that. That's my favourite, favourite, yeah. Yeah, so these are brand new as well. Mm -hmm. um, so we, th the idea of our collector's edition was that people wanted to collect very uh, popular stamps mm. that might have been on a set, yep. but they want them individually. So we started to do that oh, a couple of years ago and they've been really successful. People collect them. So mm. we're up to our 30s now, aren't wow, we? Wow, are we? So um, number 30. 
33, 34, 35 and 36. So here we go. So um, the cat you will have seen before, that's, that was on a big um, sheet of different stamps. The Grinch butterfly is brand, brand new. It's not been on any plates before. The quirky cat, as I say, you've seen it, but it is a different size. The light bulbs were much bigger on a different plate. Mm. Um, and I've done them two small ones. And then numbers, again, that was um, on a big plate. Yeah. And I adore that stamp, so I just have to do the Grinch numbers. I, yeah, I love it. I love how distressed they look. And around here, you can see we've got some fabulous samples. Um, now, you're also getting the box as well. Look at that. That's amazing. So it comes flat packed. Yeah. Okay. It's really, really easy to put together. Mm -hmm. Very, very simple. And it's basically, let me just turn it over, then you can see it actually comes with one hole in the centre, not two. Right. So you can put a little knob in there as well. I've got to pick up this sample. Check this out. I mean, I love what you've done here. I love Thank the colours. I love how you've decorated it. It's so cool. <laughs> Could that I just tip that? It's beautiful. And that's all stuck on with Slap It On Thick, well, yes. which is a really strong glue, because that I actually nicked off um, our Christmas tree last year. Did you? It's a bauble. Is yes. it? A little mini one. <laughs> that's so fun. That's yeah. gorgeous. Um, and then again, you can see some wonderful samples on the cards uh, there for you. So if you want to go for this, £19.95. pence. Um, uh, so if you think about it, that's a £4 saving there. There's a £7 saving on the one day special. 344006 for this. But if you want to get everything, we've got an additional saving. Here it is. So you can get the one day special that we've shown you and this lovely limited edition. Now, if you bought everything at full price, uh, you would be saving £14.93. pence. That's a really good Actually, saving. Actually, it would have been, everything yeah. individually is yeah. £60.93. Oh, I see. So, yeah, so you get like a double discount here. Got you. Because, of course, the one-day special's got a discount, this mm -hmm. has got a discount, yeah. and all together we've given you an additional discount. Which so we if you were to, if they were on our website, if you were to buy them all individually, it would be £60.93. pence. You're paying nowhere near that. I like that. Uh, £46, and it's on Flexi Buy. Two payments of 23 pounds which is so affordable you can get everything that you're seeing in front of you well not the finished samples you're gonna have to make those <laughs> uh, 987063 is your item so this number. is the perfect Christmas present mm. for yourself yes so go out and treat yourself uh, you'll love doing this mm. I've got loads of demos to show you and um, you will adore it so yeah buy it for yourself not just for you know your grandchildren I or know because we never treat ourselves we do we do at it. Christmas so treat yourself with yep. this complete collection um, now we've also got some other stamps for you um, now these are all, you pick your, which one you want, but what you've done for us, Kay, which I love, is you've already pre-cut them and mounted them. Yes, we mm. do that as standard now. So you don't have to have them like that, you can just email us and, and have them unmounted or whatever. But we have found over the years it's actually gone from unmounted to mounted and now cut out. Lovely. So um, I personally prefer it that way because Di, who cuts them out for us, does a much better job than I do. Oh really? Um, and she does it on a, a little um, machine. Right. She does a brilliant job. So she does every single stamp we produce. Cuts them. She cuts them oh, out. She's amazing. amazing. She's yeah. amazing. She's a machine. <laughs> Thank you, Di. Um, so let's have a look um, a bit more in detail. There we go. So let's start with, here we are. Fleur's one. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. I like, that's quite quirky, isn't it? It is, like yes. It. So all of these are hand drawn by me and they were just sort of doodly type things. Mm. And I really, really love them actually. And I've used all of these in creating the bag as right. well. So that's why we brought them with us. They have been out before, but you might not have got the whole collection. You might have got just one or two and maybe you want to add to it because they all go together and they mix and match perfectly. Mm. And you've got some lovely sayings on them as well you know I love my saying I know gorgeous <laughs> and then you've got Fleur 2 as well again lovely doodly really fun and great if you love your coloring as well you yes know, if the you perfect mm. coloring absolutely mm. and then we've got Fleur's 3 which is all of the um, uh, edgings these are brilliant for edgings and to build up with, with the others mm -hmm. and we've got a, a nice sort of fandangle there as well a fandangle. small fandangle mm -hmm. yes that's a great um, word and that is a life without dreams is like a garden without flowers oh yeah I love that <laughs> sentiment really thoughtful and then Fleur's four Fleur's four lovely simple gorgeous um, stamens there and flowers and a life without dreams is like a garden without flowers there you go that's mm. slightly different yeah um, but that's lovely very nice and then we've also got a bottom tier for you to have a little look at 
Um, so oh, this one, I like the art on this and the circles with the script in, very nice. So this was my first attempt actually at uh, free hand embroidery. What's was it called? It? Free range? Free, free motion. Free, that's it. Yeah. Free range. Free range, <laughs> <laughs> free range <laughs> embroidery. Free range embroidery. <laughs> that's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, well, it did have a mind of its own, actually. It did wander off in did every it? direction. Yeah. <laughs> So I scanned these in oh. and then I added the words to them. Um, but I actually like the fact that they're really badly done. <laughs> no, 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 I think they're fabulous. It's all really, really sketchy. Yeah, that's like exactly what I mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I really like that. I'm attracted to it because I like stuff that's a bit different. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, but they certainly are. Yeah. <laughs> Very useful, these. And then the, the next one we've got is words. General words, thank one. you. So um, my lovely mate uh, Mike Deakin has done these, and he is—you'll um, find him on YouTube doing loads and loads of classes, free of charge on YouTube. Aww. And this is his personal um, font mm -hmm. because um, he did these, and I said, "Oh, I want it in your handwriting mm -hmm. because you know you can." buy these fonts and I really like your writing and he went really I hate it everyone hates them yeah, writing. yeah they do. but he went off and he did it and he actually made his own font mm. by drawing out every single letter of the alphabet and it's so cool it and nice. I absolutely love it so you can't get this font anywhere else because this is Mike Deakin's front. I really like that. It is. It's so it's, cool. And isn't it's it? so legible as well, but it's like, it is really creative like that. Yeah, and you can't quite see, but there's a box at the bottom that fits all of the words in it. Oh, that's as good. Well. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Um, then we've got another journal words, and this is journal words two, again by Mike Deakin. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. He's actually done a, a set of uh, four. Um, in total, but we've only got three at the moment here. Right, okay. Um, but there are more, you might find them on the website. But Lovely. Yeah, they're gorgeous. The great words as well, and he's done some phrases. Um, but yeah, I love them. Mm. And uh, they're the sort of thing that um, I don't put away, I have them on my desk. Yeah. Because they're just, yeah, just perfect. Absolutely. Yeah. And then we've got journal words for here it is. Uh, documents, that's good. Together, voyage, mm -hmm. forever, journal, laughter, travel. Really, you need all three yeah, if you can. You do. Yeah. yeah. You if do. you can, if you can, I, I would definitely get them. Marvellous. Now, if you're a Freedom member, £10.79, and pence. that's all you're paying for each option. 186860 is your item number. Really, really pretty stamps. Now, we have got a fabulous journal. I want to s flick through all of these different pages that you've got we, here. We have got plenty of time over today and tomorrow to actually yeah. go through loads of them because um, I was supposed to send these back to the girls but I hung on to them for this show and I, I will be sending them back to you girls so thank you very much um, but so this is the uh, the blank one yeah um, and we have it have had it before and it's been incredibly popular and this is the last lot we've got right no um, more no more no 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 more till next year okay okay right so, so you get the idea but should we have a look through the samples yes. So we've got all sorts of different pages here, like some is corrugated uh, cardboard. Yes, you've got some yeah. rag, uh, cotton rag papers, you've Where's got some the? burlap, you've got some uh, jute, um, you've got ah, all sorts going on here. Oh, and then you can decorate them however you like, stamp into them, ink them. Will they take your mediums really well? Oh yes, absolutely. Really, really good. So you can, you know, be rough, you can abuse them. And you can see Kerry here, I'm, I'm presuming this is Kerry's because it hasn't got a name on. Um, Ooh. You know, you don't have to do every page consecutively. You yeah. can work on a number of different pages at different times. They can be partially done, fully done. You know, it's completely up to you. Mm -hmm. um, I use it to mop up as well, you know, like Leone does. Yeah. Look at this one. Yours. Yeah. So let's go with this one here. Sure. So this is actually Sue Ralph's. Okay. And I really love all the layering that she's done on here. It's absolutely beautiful. Mm. And lots and lots of fussy cutting as well, which are gorgeous. Yeah. And she's really sort of gone to town. This is lovely with all these little tassels she's put mm. in. And she's got pockets going on, which is lovely. Finishing off, you know, different... Um, Oh, oh, are they gorgeous? You yeah, just want to stroke them I all. I know. Oh, you've got tons behind here. I know. That's what I said. I've got everybody's <laughs> here. <laughs> this is great. So this is really, really beautiful. Look at this. Yeah. This is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, 92 pages worth. Well, so what I would um, actually get you to do is if I can show you, it's mm -hmm. got four signatures here. Yeah. Now, these four signatures are individually sewn in, mm -hmm. and because there's 92 pages, there's a little bit too much, really. I would recommend that you take two signatures out, 
because then when you start working on them it actually gets really full and I'll show you when I show mine yeah and the way to do that is to find the middle section which is here now you're probably just about to be able to see that there's two stitches there mm. one there and one there and when you snip those that whole signature will come out but it won't affect the rest of the book oh good and then you can actually make a separate couple of journals out of those really good idea um, or you can take them out work on them and, and put them back mm. in whichever you want but I would, would recommend you take two out and then you've got basically three books for the price of one see that is good isn't it getting really mm -hmm. busy for these 25 pounds uh, and it is 537 633 and remember not going to get be able to get any more till next year That's once right. this has gone um, now going back to our fabulous one day special and complete collection we're getting very very busy for both um, we're going to show you some finished samples while we shimmy over to the demonstration area Okay, 20% of the complete collection has gone oh, in 15 you. minutes. Yes. Thank you so much, everybody. That's brilliant because I'm glad you like it. Because mm. all the girls who and boys who have taken part in it this week, uh, this week, this year, have absolutely loved doing it. Some people have thought, oh, I don't know whether I can actually manage to do that. Mm -hmm. But I promise it's super simple. So I'm going to show you step by step how you actually achieve it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with our panel. So you get get as you can see you get a nice big piece and you get a good border on it as mm. well okay so I'm going to leave the border on for now and work on it just as is and then you just need to wet it down so we're going to do a watercolor effect on it to begin with okay so just get it really nice and wet and it does take quite a bit of, of going mm. because um, it's quite a thick canvas, right. but it's quite smooth, so it's, it's really nice to work on. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure, I'm going to bring this in, move things around a little bit because sure. oh, that's all right. then you can actually see from up above. I'm going to get some of our paints. So I've got exactly the paints that you've got. So we have... Um, red hot chili mm. and you've got two pots of each color so you've got plenty to go at I'm getting loads out because I'm getting enough for the um, the bag as well sorry let me just grab my rag mm -hmm. there we go so we've got red hot chili we've got daffodil which is a lovely clear beautiful yellow mm -hmm. uh, these are all translucent colors by the way and the reason why I've used translucent colors is that because we have this printed already on the canvas I don't want you to cover up all the black lines I want it so that you can still see all the lines through it and so you will use a translucent paint to do that right okay oh what color is this This is teal for two oh. this is one of your favorites yeah. isn't it? it's, it's my favorite too <laughs> i have to admit um so and then i can't live without more rebush and I so like i had to well. put all my favorites in this kit <laughs> um and if you've had a kit before with these paints in don't not buy the kit just because you've got those little sample parts because mm when you start really getting to know these paints and working with them you will use them a lot so a little goes a very long way yeah but another spray another spray just make sure it's nice and wet in fact what I tend to do is I tend to get some water a nice wide brush I like that pot sorry that's random <laughs> <laughs> 
available from all um, <laughs> big supermarkets, including <laughs> Wilkinson's. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's good because I don't actually, um, I won't smash it, you see. Right, so we get this nice and wet. Mm -hmm. Let me just put that there. While you're doing that, can I quickly show oh, this? Yes, um, please. This is the cotton rag. Now, the reason why I'm showing you is because we don't have many of these. What sort of, how would you describe, I mean, I know it's cotton, but how else would you describe this? Okay, so this is a smooth one, which right. is called hot press. Right. And it's actually made from a t-shirt cutting, so it is 100% oh. cotton. And the reason why I, I like it is because it's very durable, you can abuse it, you can layer up lots of things, mm. and it's not going to peel or put, come apart That's it, right. or, or you know how it it sort of separates the mm. top layers yep. it won't do that okay so that's excellent it's really really good to um to use not many like of that. these 30.99 40 sheets in total 210 gsm 433594 uh a quarter of the stock of the i want it all complete collections gone how much a quarter <laughs> you were like, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank mm. you. Okay, so I've got a bit of racing green. So what mm. I'm going to do is I'm sort of generally going to put some colour down, okay? But I want the water just to to pull it out. Mm -hmm. So the more water you put on, the softer the colour is going to be, and the more that it it will it was pull out. Okay, I'm mm. going to go for a little bit of the teal, but I haven't cleaned my brush, so a little bit of that. Um, that green is going to come in oh, and they blend. Oh, they do blend well, don't See they? See this? Mm. See if I go over the top of that a little bit. Now, it's really important. Have you noticed, every time I go yeah. to my paint, I put lots of water in because right. it's very, very concentrated. Mm. So it's really important that you do actually add lots of water there. You know, we okay. got lovely paints. Yes. Like, what, if we wanted to, uh, can we wash the bag is what I'm trying to say once Absolutely. this is on. Absolutely. Yes, because this is a, a true fabric paint, mm -hmm. and um, once it's um, dried, mm. you can either iron it to set it, or you can just leave it for a couple of weeks, okay. and it will cure naturally. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to go in with lots of water again, and this time this is mulberry bush, and the mulberry bush oh. is just delightful. I and when this colours. actually mixes with that, those teals and greens, just look what we get coming through. You get this beautiful, lovely, purpling colour, and I'm actually going to just go over those berries here. Mm. And then I'm going to come back again with lots of water and I'm just going to put some colour on these foxgloves here. Mm, stunning okay. colours you've picked. But again, I'm not going to worry about really where the colour's going because I want it just to mix and merge. We're actually going to come back in and do all the detail work yeah. later on. Okay. It's actually quite dreamy the way you're doing it. I, 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 do you know what I mean? It's got an uh, ethereal look to it. Because Very of Monet. How, yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Very Monet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really soft. It's got that lovely watercolour technique. Mm. If you want to ever do any watercolour or you're a, a fan of Matthew Palmer's, you know, um, this is is very very similar it's called wet on wet yeah you know um we're just using different paints these are translucent like they are with um with watercolors but mm. these are an acrylic mm. so i'm just going to put this where am i going to go with this i'm going to lighten this up with a bit of yellow around here mm -hmm. so can you see that we get a lighter green coming through there yeah i'm being warned that yeah. the journal it, which is at the bottom of the screen. The, this is the cotton rag. It's approaching limited. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised because we, mm. we only had a, um, a small stock of those. We will be getting more in next year. Next year, okay. So I'm going to have some bright yellow round here and some nice. bright yellow round there as well. Yeah. Which will just, oh, and my bee. Okay, got to always have a bee, haven't mm -hmm. I? Yeah. Save our, our bees. Work. <laughs> Right, so come in with that lovely red, lots of water again, and then we're going to mix it with the yellow and you get that gorgeous, gorgeous red. Yeah, it's fiery. Yeah. We're going to get mixing the red with the yellow, getting yeah. orange. Sorry, I beg yeah. your pardon. I'm just having oh, no. far too much fun. Yeah. No, I was <laughs> going to say because if we, if you could hear our director cooing and umming and uh, ooing and ahhing <laughs> in our ears, I'm like, right, we need to get Taz doing this. He's <laughs> loving watching it. 
It is really good fun and literally anybody can do this. Mm. So, you know, if you've got grandkids, I would say from eight upwards, this is really easy for them to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, update. The Cotton Rag Journal, it has gone. Thank you for your purchase. Oh, thank yeah. you, guys. Yeah, thank you. And you'll love them. You'll really love them. Love they the are record. beautiful. Mm -hmm. So I think what we'll do is we'll come back in and I'll scoop up some of this lovely mulberry bush and we'll have this coming up here and again let it just mix and merge into the adjoining mm. colours. You can see I'm actually using really really watered down. Yeah. Uh, okay. 30% of the complete I Want It All collection is gone. I mean it's so reasonable especially on Flexi Buy. Oh gosh I love Flexi Buy. I love FlexiBuy. I think it's just so cool. I know. Actually, it's really good to budget, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Can't you tell I use it a lot? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> we've had a question come in from Tori. Hello, oh, Tori. Hi, Tori. Uh, it's about the slap it on thick. Yes. Can you use it on fabric without making the fabric stiff? Yes, you can actually. It wasn't originally designed as a fabric one, but I actually did some tests and I put it onto a t-shirt. I coloured it actually with the luscious powders and then I stenciled it onto a t-shirt. And then I actually found, right, I'll give it this a wash. Because the lovely thing about Slap It On Thick is it, it will have um, a nice sheen. You can make it as thick or as, as thin as you like, mm -hmm. but it's also very flexible yeah. when it's dry. Oh, that's good. So that's brilliant. That's perfect. And I put it through the wash five times and it was still perfect. By accident, I put it in the dryer. Do not put it in the dryer. What happened? It cracked. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we had little cracks in it. Actually, it didn't come off. But Might it had quite little funky, cracks. Actually. <laughs> so don't put it in the dryer. But yes, you can wash it. I, I washed it on a thirty degree wash, mm -hmm. um, and it was absolutely fine. And Great. I'm delighted because Yay. you know I an thought, extra use for yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. So that's really cool. Okay. So I think I'm going to come back in with this mulberry bush over here and just go into that red here a little bit and then I'm going to wash my brush a little bit and then I'm going to come in with some of that gorgeous teal and I'm going to mix that in with Ooh. with the orange yeah that's nice great question by the way Tori and yeah, if anybody you. else has any more questions you can send them to studio at hachanda.com or via Facebook oh look how rich that is wow so this is it if you want to layer up and do more you can do or if you want it a bit more softer, just add more water and it will dry lighter mm -hmm. anyway. Okay, so let's just come in and do a little bit on this wee dragonfly here. So oh. I'm just gonna dab a little bit. Again, I want him to spread out a little bit. Yeah. Oh yes, and the green, blue, and the, the green. teal and the green's amazing. Yeah, that's really nice, isn't it? So that's good. And then let's just finish off just the whole area because even though I'm going to um, you know either you're going to tuck this under or you're going to fray it make sure you just colour to the edge and then you're not going to worry about what what you're going to do with it later you've got lots of options so I'm just going to get some nice sort of yellow in here mm. and that's going to mix in with some oh uh, we've had <laughs> 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 we've had a question from is it Brit? Brit yeah Brig. Oh, Brig. Brig. Oh, Will, 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 Mick wants to know if he'll be allowed to slap <laughs> it on at the weekend. Oh, Mick, I look forward to you seeing you. You can slap it on as much as you yeah, like, right. sweetie. <laughs> You're always welcome. Oh. <laughs> do you know how many people you've got? Well, I'm sure you do. How many people are going this we're weekend? We're full, actually. Full. Both classes, oh, yeah. Amazing. So I'm, I'm teaching a class Saturday, Sunday, and, and uh, Leonie's teaching a class Saturday, Sunday. And, and we're, we're full, actually. And, um, and, and Brig and, and Mick are... Um, Mm, should I call them indigo blue groupies? Oh, I see. <laughs> right. <laughs> In the kindest possible way. <laughs> <laughs> Got nothing to do with it being called a dirty weekend, of course. No. But you know. <laughs> 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 but no, um, it'll be lovely to see them. And and the interesting thing is, you know, um, Brig and Mick have. Um, I mean, Mick's really come on. He's only been crafting a really short time. Ah, OK. Um, and uh, the lovely thing is that he's got really engrossed in it. Mm -hmm. And even though they've done this project before, they're coming back to do it again. Yay, you know? it's so enjoyable. Yeah, that's right. So, so here we go. I've just finished that. So it's really, really simple to mm -hmm. do. And it looks beautiful. OK, Colours let me just get amazing. rid of some of these bits. Well, I don't know, bits of... Um, 
fabric mm -hmm. just off there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it off the glass and I'm going to lay it on some um, an old tea towel or kitchen roll or something like that and just let it dry naturally. Yeah. You can heat gun it, but I always say with any pigment mm. you will dr you will um, dry off and burn off some of the pigment no, as it dries. So it's best if you just leave it to dry naturally. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, if you do heat dry it, obviously you're setting it as well. Right. So if you can give me just a minute yes. just to tidy up, is that okay? Of course and it I'll is. I'll be back in a minute. Right <laughs> then. So here's the website. Let's go and have a nice little recap. Um, so we've got the um, special edition or collector's edition stamps uh, that does come with the storage. Oh, there's your slap it on. Um, your journal. Don't forget the journal and then oh look at all of those pigments there's so many that we've got in our gorgeous collection um, and you can get the stamps individually uh, they're on a freedom discount uh, marvelous so if you're just joining us the one day special you're gonna have so much fun with it what you're getting is this beautiful panel that's already got the, pr the printed pattern on it. And we've just seen how nice that looks that um, Kay's done with hers. Now, uh, you also get the canvas bag. So of course you can pop this onto the canvas bag. Nice big bag, you're gonna get a lot of shopping or craft goods in there. Obviously, if you wanted to, you could put this on a cushion. It's a great size for a cushion, um, but the bag is there for you. And then we've got the glorious paints. You've got 10 uh, pots of paint two of each beautiful colour and then you've also got the three mats but again I just want you to show the um, samples this is a beautiful sample that Kay's done um, and now you can what's the word you can um, uh, sew onto it as well you can stamp extra designs onto it you can do what you want it's all about personalizing but look at the back as well as the front this is a real statement piece I like the white actually because it, then it really highlights everything doesn't it and don't forget this paint will set just uh, iron it and then you can take it outside uh, doesn't matter if it rains then look at all that detail if you want to as I said extra embellishments you can do some um, French knots some um, lazy daisies you could put some seed beads on there you do whatever you like put bells and whistles on if you wanted to it's gorgeous right so this is 29 pounds and 98 pence seven pound saving so just hang on to that uh, 736350 is your item number really beautiful I, I oh I really want to have a go myself actually and um, now then we've also got the collector's edition these are new today these stamps the dragonfly is brand brand new and then as Kay said, the cat has been in larger form, um, but now he's back in smaller form. I love, I love that cat because he, he looks all ruffled and like, brrr, like cats do. Um, and then you've got, <laughs> and then you've got the uh, wonderful light bulbs. And last but not least, you've got the numbers, one of Kay's favorite stamps, the nice grungy stamp. Now also you have got the storage box. So it will arrive to you flat packed and if I plonk that in there it'll arrive to you like that you also have one hole in it and then you can decorate it however you like I must show this sample again because I think it's fabulous grunge it up make it pretty uh, I just I mean I l absolutely adore it put feet on it if you want to choice is yours but I mean from that plain canvas you can make it so awesome and again you can see the samples on the cards from um, these glorious stamps now this is 19 pounds and 95 pence now that's another four pound saving three four four zero zero six but if you want it all the whole collection the one day special and this one 40 percent of the stock has gone in 33 minutes now if you were to buy this all at the normal price it'll be 60 pounds 93 if you were to go to Kay's website but here we've got it right the way down to 46 pounds and even more affordable two payments of 23 pounds to get everything that you see here I know you're going to have so much fun with all of this 987063 is your item number now as well as these lovely goodies we have some more stamps for you to choose uh, from they're all under the same item number but you choose which one you like uh, now let's have a little look if I turn this around so um, 
Kay uh, f is famed for her red rubber and it stamps like a dream, beautifully deeply etched and they're already cut, as you see, and pre-mounted for you. So you just take the backing up, well, no you don't, you just peel it off, stick it on your, on your block and you're away. Uh, so they're all like that. Uh, so you've got your Fleurs one with our fabulous sentiment and they're really nice and quirky and doodly. And then moving along, we've got Fleur two. Again, great for colouring, aren't these? Or just stamping and embossing, of course. Depends what your style is. And then we've got Fleur 3. Lovely borders there. I like that hanging. You can mm -hmm. hang that from the top of a card. And another fabulous sentiment. And then last but not least, we've got Fleur 4. Um, so they all work together fantastically. Down at the bottom then, we have got, um, I like this, there we go, Yep, yeah, we have got the one with the art on it. So it's actually free motion embroidery that Kay did and then scanned it in and I really like it because it's really quirky. I, I like unusual. And then you've got the, um, by Mike Deacon, the journal words one, so you've got journey, believe, destination, creativity, dreams, family, adventure and they all fit into that wonderful box at the bottom. Then you've got journal words two, Discover, friendship, imagine, memories, possibility, timeless, I do like timeless, and story, and they all fit in the box. And then last but not least, journal words, three. Is that three? Four, sorry, four, four. Uh, document, together, voyage, forever, journal, laughter, travel, and the box. Brilliant. Um, shall I show a few samples? Just a few? Have a look. And of course, yeah, these um, lovely images from the Fleur, they are, you know, not too difficult to cut at all. Nice, easy shapes to cut. Oh, very nice. Oh, 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 let's, oh, wait, wait. Look what I found. I like this because it's got the art on it. Just going to open, I hope I can open this up. Let's see, this is really pretty. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, is it not it? Let me try and open it like this so you can see. So you've got your art journal. Love that stamp. Love that. Oh, my word. That is awesome, loving that. That is a beautiful piece of artwork, very nice. Uh, so um, I will show you some more samples through the course of the next 24 hours. Um, but if you're a Freedom member, you've got a good price for each of these, 10 pounds and 79 pence. 186860 is your item number. number? number. Uh, then you've got the journal. This is fab. 20% of the stock has gone and remember it won't be back till next year. So this is your blank canvas. You've got 92 pages but I love it like even the outside you can decorate and you've got things like um, linen in here, corrugated card, there's canvas, there's hessian, um, there's other types of cardstock. It's absolutely a brilliant journal. But then feast your eyes on. I'm going to get a different one. Let's show you this one because we didn't show you this one previously. Look at this. So whether you're going to stamp, um, stamp onto it, or you're going to even write in it, or you're going to, uh, I don't know, sew lovely bits and bobs. Is that all? 20 minutes left? No, it's gone too quick. Um, oh, look at that. And it all falls out. Love that. Not literally falls out, but look, that's awesome, that one. Wow, art. There's the art. I think this is absolutely stunning. So this is your personal journal that you can put whatever you like in. It's all personal to you. £25 then for your journal. But remember, these won't be back until next year now because Kay can't get any more. Uh, 25 pounds, so once they're gone of this stock, it's gone. Uh, 537633 is your item number. Some more things for you to add to your baskets. Now, a lot of people have been asking about the Slap It On. This is the super thick Slap It On. And a third of the stock has gone. It's 11.99, And then we've also got some gesso. And this comes in white and black, but you do get both and they are 120 mil pots each, 999-090-550. Then we've also got uh, ultra clear, ultra clear tape kit. Oh, I see, I see. Um, 16 assorted rolls, I can't do, I can't do without that tape. 1999 uh, that is a 10 pounds and a penny saving. All you need to do is call us on the usual number 01733 60 2000, which you'll see on screen, or you can shop online at hachanda.com.
Dun, dun, dun. Half the stock of the I Want It All complete collection has gone. Half? Mm, half. Wow. Good stuff. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. So what I want you to do is I want you to set all the shows to record because mm. then you'll get all the different stages and all the little um, hints and tips as well. So yeah. I know you can't sit down to every single one, but if you can record them, that would be great. And then you can come back to it because you mm. might do it over your Christmas period. Oh, yeah. You might wait till January to, to get it done, but at least you've got those recorded. Yeah. All right. So what I've been doing here is I've actually been starting putting in some detail. So now this mm -hmm. is dry. This is obviously a different one than I, uh, I did earlier, but you can yeah. see that it is completely dry. Mm -hmm. um, and now you actually want to use your wet paint that's still diluted, okay? And it's the same palette that I, I used before. Um, and this time you want to just paint in some of the details. And you don't actually have to be that neat either, because if it does actually run on the outside, it's like this, this bit here these stems and everything. I had a little bit of yellow mixed in with the green on my paint mat. And just a little note about your paint mat. The reason why I've given you three mm. is um, you will actually use three. Yeah. Because I'll show you how to mask off the bag as well. So use the shiny side up um, because that's the really non-stick side. And then when you finish with it for the day, wash it off um, in cold water. Mm -hmm. If it's actually, you've forgotten and it's still scraped on, you scrape off the, any okay. residue at all. But I would normally put a lot less paint out than this, um, but I just know that I'm gonna use it. Yeah. Okay, so going back to your stem. So I'm using quite a big brush. And because I've washed it down, I don't have to be that accurate mm. with it. And it's quite nice when it actually just bleeds over, bleeds mm. over into the background, <coughs> which is really nice. And then I'm gonna come in with a little bit of the daffodil. And I'm just gonna smudge that with my finger. So you can see I'm not actually being that neat. Mm. And then what I did with this is I came in with a touch of red and I just put a few dots of red along there. And then I went back in with my yellow and mm. I let it just mix together and you get that orange in the middle there. Nice. Okay. So let's do these because these are really fun. Okay, so with this, I'm actually going to just do a few little dots up the left hand. Is that the left or the right? That's the right hand <laughs> side. <laughs> <Da -da. laughs> up the right hand side. And I'm actually going to mix it with a little bit of the teal for two. Oh yeah. So you can see that then you get a really deep, lovely, sort of purpley colour. I'm then going to come in with just the mulberry bush now for the rest of it. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And then when that dries, I'm going to come back in and I'm going to show you how the highlights are done. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some teal for two and a little bit of the racing green. And I'm just going to do these in a smaller brush mm -hmm. oh I love these colors and what about the design Kay what inspired you with this design um, well <coughs> you know that I, I, I do like my flowers mm -hmm. um, we've we've had some really nice um, beautiful flowers on on the show last week with our Julia right um, and I do like that sort of old-fashioned vintage look mm. where they're like etched flowers um, mm. And I do like creating a bit of a collage um, and with lots of layers. And basically what I used to do was um, every year on the secret retreat in Retford, I would design You've just told me where, 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 where it is, secret retreat in yeah. Retford. In Retford, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> 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 yeah, I would design. <laughs> I would design a bag for everybody, and I would have them screen printed. Oh, nice! So, um, and then I thought, in fact, it was probably someone who suggested it. Why don't we have these panels to to paint and do ourselves? So that's how that started, um, and it just grew from there, really. Mm. Um, and I've had the artist, and I'd always wanted to do an artist, a botanist, um, a seamstress, or a tailor, you know, yeah. so different themes. So, yes, there will be more coming out. Wonderful. In fact, I think year. we've had a request. Tara said, could, hi, Tara. Could, hi, Tara, could this be um, a, a large stamp, actually? Could you make it into a large stamp? Yes, we could do that. Mm. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, that would be a big stamp, it wouldn't would. it? Yeah. <laughs> 
Yes, we can do that because the uh, design work is, is just the same actually. So um, yeah, that can be done. So I'm actually mixing the teal for two with the racing green on those. Um, now, I'm just going to lighten one area of this with some white gesso. Now, it won't be brilliant white because it's, it's wet this, but it will make it a little bit lighter. So it looks bright at the moment, but it will deaden down. And I'm only doing it on the left-hand side where the light will be coming from. Yeah. Okay. So it looks a little bit heavy at the moment, but wait until it, it dries down and it will just lighten off mm. a little bit as well. So it's so like the light's catching yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. You could put a little bit here. I'm a big believer in just giving it a smudge with your finger. <laughs> oh yes, and this is, people wanted to know how to do these, um, these circles as well. So if I, what colour shall I do these? Gosh, I'm so predictable. Mm. Teal. Hey, no, I'm ex I go for the same colours all the time. Know. Everybody knows my colours at home. It's your yeah. blues and your purples and your pinks. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> so let's get some teal in there. Go on, I'll, I'll put a little bit of um, Morby Bosch in as well. Mm. Okay. Oh, that's lovely. The colour it goes there. Well, you see, the lovely thing about translucence is they mix incredibly well. Mm. And then you put some white gesso, okay? And then you just go in with your finger and you ah. just... Do that. Lighten it. And you get a nice sort of edge to it there. So that's your nice little circles mm -hmm. there. So this is really nice to be able just to go around and, and colour all the different elements in. Mm. So again, with your dragonfly here, you can do your teals and let's get some green in there Definitely, as well. Yeah. And then if you want a lighter green to um, a nice sort of lime colour, mm -hmm. then you get some of your daffodil oh and you yeah. mix that in. So it goes from a teal to a, a lime colour. So you're not using as much water as you did for the background? No, not quite, because no. it's going on a dry surface, remember. Yeah. But I am, you notice, um, it's probably off camera, I am sticking my brush in water every time I... Um, before I go into the paint right. so that I am actually diluting the paint because mm -hmm. it is um, very concentrated. Mm. That's and why a little goes a very long way it, with it these does. pots. It does, yes. Yeah. So don't put a lot out at a time. I would say just put a few grains of rice out at a time mm -hmm. and then just add more to your palette rather than putting lots out like I've done. But I know that with all the demos I'm going to do tonight that I have actually got quite... Um, a while to go with this. So I'm just going to add in a little bit of Morby Bush now mm. and that will bring me some of the lilacs and purples out and whilst you're doing this it's worth having your journal out. I've got a little journal that I use oh, yeah. um, to put swatches in, just swatches of colour. So mm. if I've actually been mixing a colour and I think oh that's really nice, yeah. I will actually put a blob of it mm -hmm. in my journal and then I will make write, a note, yeah. make, write a note of exactly what I've done. Mm. Um, so that's that bit to do, okay, and let me just bring one that I've added lots of detail to. So that's going to take you a while. Yeah. Okay. A don't nice expect while to get though. this done in a day. No, it's, but you it's don't a want weekend to. project mm. at least, at the very least. Wow. That so, looks awesome. So you can see that not only have I started with all the flowers and everything, but I've actually started pulling out the background shapes. You know, these cogs. Mm -hmm. Round here and mm. these stripes, which all of a sudden make you look at the but the uh, the bumblebee yeah, here. Yeah, they do. Okay, and all these lovely geometric, you know, shapes here, and it's all using the same palette. Mm. You you're just mixing all your different colours together. You know, your oranges with your reds and your yellows. Those greens are going to look great from a deep dark blue green all the way through to a lime. Um, and then you can actually start putting in details. So you know how I said about the um, gesso? Mm. So you really, really need a black and white gesso. Okay. You really have to have to get these because they are just so essential in your kit. Mm. Um, and ours are very, very different from what you're probably used to. 
because ours have got titanium white in the white and we use the black, we actually use carbon black. Right. So you get the blackest black. Mm -hmm. And this way you can actually now start to put a few little highlights in here and there just to, just to lift some of the areas. And if you want to just mm -hmm. smudge that in, mm -hmm. or if you want nice white highlights, just do it with the tip, or a really good one is using the, the bottom of your oh yeah. brush. Um, mm. brush there, and just do dots like this. Okay, and to do faux French knots, all you do is you go into your paint, this is Mulberry Bush, and you start building up all your colours mm. using the mulberry bush and then I'm going to go into the red and because they're translucent mm. they're not going to overpower it oh, they're just going to add to it. That looks really good. Yeah and then you can always go in with a little bit of teal as well and that will mix in with the red and the mulberry bush and it just gives you a fantastic look without mm. embroidering you see. I like this. And uh, now we are over half, over half the stock gone in 50 minutes there wow. of the I Want It All Complete Collection. The whole collection is only £23 on Flexi Buy, so you just pay the next instalment next month. But you don't have to wait to get it uh, until next month because we send it out to you once you've paid the first instalment. Play before you pay, as I like to say. Hey, that's good. Mm. That's good. To be fair, I think I did nick it from another presenter, but I can't remember who it was. <laughs> <laughs> so you're taking the credit. I just think it's a really cool thing to say, actually, because <laughs> I, I love that. Um, so I'm just putting a few dots on with the gesso. Um, and when you're using a small amount of gesso, I've actually found that this is um, fabric safe as well. Oh, great. So, you know, you're really okay with that and I've actually followed around all the swirls and everything so all of a sudden you start to see things that mm. you didn't notice before you know you can actually put a few little dots on these berries you're right it is really so detailed once you've pulled out uh, you know all those different colors that's and right and we've actually got you know all these splashes in the background mm. as well and also what I've done is I've actually frayed the edge. Yeah, that looks cool. And because I've actually, and I've cut it right down as well. So I've got rid of all that excess and I've cut it down and I've frayed it. So now your frayed edge is all coloured as well. So mm. that looks really fab. So I'm just adding more dots. And you can just keep on embellishing them as, as much or as little as you want. And I've just put a highlight on my little bumblebee there. Okay. So I'm just going to dry that off mm -hmm. and if you can give me a minute just to yep. dry it off do um, and see you in a minute. Yeah, is that all that right? Oh, by the fine. way, I've brought my journal to show oh, you as well. Oh, flick through? Okay. The oh. might, things might fall out of it because I stuffed things in, That's all in right. it as well. Okie dokie. And I'll, I'll to take the plain one as well. Right, so, but let's have a look at Kay's journal. Am I okay to put my gun on? Yeah, don't that worry. Right? That's all good. It's only a low one. Yeah. But look at Kay's journal. Beautiful. So we've got some stitching on here. Beautiful stitching. So some I'll just beads. explain what I've done, actually. Yeah. So I've actually stamped using the Fleur's stamps. Ah. So I think, you know, the one, two, three, and four, there's different mm -hmm. ones from each one. So I've stamped using those. And then when I've embroidered, I've just followed the lines. Yeah. So I've just gone over the top. That's fabulous. I love this. Oh, and there we go. Got a beautiful scene in here. Lots of French knots, straight stitch, lazy daisies, more beads. Doesn't that look gorgeous? And of course, the colours in the background that, are stunning. And that is all. The background is done exactly the same way as we did the, the beginning. Yep. And the embroidery, again, I've just stamped and embroidered. But I have to thank Katrina from Rowan Dean for getting Yay. me into the embroidery again. She taught That's me how to French knot live on air. She taught me yeah. how to French knot as well. Because I'd forgotten how to do it yeah <laughs> that's uh, so wonderful and um, then look at these beautiful stamped images see now the last time I went on a retreat with Kay which is a few years ago um, we did faces like this and I remember her t her, um, you teaching me about all the highlights I love that mm -hmm. so she looks amazing and then again oh, using a card maybe and just you know the edge of a card and making those um, lovely um, strokes there and then you've got those beautiful butterflies I mean this is such a lovely personal um, page 
That is stunning as well. She's fabulous. So wherever you want to put in your journal, you can. It's personal to you. Oh, look at her hair. Amazing. A bit saucy. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got, look at this sentiment. Flowers are sunshine, food and medicine to the soul. Gorgeous. Ah, oh, this is so nice. I feel very privileged to be looking through your journal, <laughs> Kay. That's all right. Oh, there we go. Let's open that up. But whatever your style, whatever you want to do, this is your beautiful blank canvas. Oh, what, what? Is it pocket? It's just a little pocket there that you can just pull out. Oh, that's fun. Put little trinkets and gifts in there. <laughs> Loving that. Um, so we'll go through the other half maybe a bit later on in the 8 o'clock show. But this is your gorgeous blank canvas for you to pop in whatever you want and this is 25 pounds and your item number is uh, 537633 okay what's the next step then okay Kate? so um, just to show you how to make the fringe um, just get yourself um, a pair of scissors and just gently pull out a couple of pieces I do oh, one okay. at a time because then it comes off really easily mm. and you just do one at a time pull them off if they get stuck like that you just Pull, pull them it along. Uh, yeah. By the way, I was told these are on special offer. Are they? Yeah, are apparently. They? Katie, are these they? These are on special offer tomorrow. I think they're tomorrow. Oh, is it tomorrow? I have to say, oh. I love tonic scissors. I have always used tonic scissors. Yes. They are brilliant. Mm -hmm. And I think you get three pounds. Uh, right, I think Ben's just said this is tomorrow's deal of the day, is which it? will launch. <gasps> so I'm giving you a bit of a heads yeah. up. Okay, so you need these, okay? I don't work for tonic. No, 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 no. You just love them. But I just right. love them. I have a pair for embroidery, mm. a pair for um, uh, paperwork. Yeah. And, you know, you can do um, fuzzy cutting with these. Mm. And then a pair in my craft bag to go. Amazing. So, there you go. Thank you, Kay. That's Heads all right. Up. So I think Heads that up. launches at 7 o'clock. Right, in Good Morning Hachanda. So, yeah, so that's how you do your fringing all the way around, okay? Yeah. And then as a finishing touch, um, I love this product. This is Slap It On Fabric Sparkles. Right. So we had to actually go back to the drawing board with this because I wanted to get a glitter that actually goes onto fabric and you can wash it and Ooh. see, look, isn't that amazing oh i'll give it a wiggle oh there you go i've not seen this before have you not no <gasps> this is fantastic oh. it's really really good because it will stay on fabric it will go see it's white mm -hmm. but it will go clear yeah when it's dry and it's very very flexible oh. as well so i have a lady that does um dance costumes yeah and it will go onto lycra and Brilliant. different and services stretch. and it stretches that's right and you can wash it obviously yay thank so. you Kay I know we're just going to carry on here um so uh please do come and join us for stage two at 8 p.m thanks Kay